taking over as uh, Deputy Secretary General, uh, I'm very happy to uh, support uh, Hulin's key words of uh, vision, action, and harmony. And of course, I'm looking forward to uh, supporting him in in uh, addressing the uh, the challenges and uh, uh, and uh, taking on the opportunities that uh, we'll uh, face over the the next four years, at least. Uh, my first uh, and perhaps most important uh, task is to implement the uh, decision five um, in the plenipotentiary conference and in particular annex two of that decision which uh, addresses over 30 uh, measures for uh, reducing expenses uh, this will be necessary for us to be able to present to our council meeting in in may this year uh, a balanced budget uh, for the next biennium for 2016-2017. And uh, in doing that, we'll be looking very much at uh, the, um, the use of the technology that ITU itself has helped to develop uh, and to use that technology to improve our efficiencies and to improve our processes. And I'm sure that uh, with the help of our staff, we, we will be able to uh, make some significant uh, savings. I'm also uh, will be looking at uh, the possibility of uh, identifying new sources of uh, revenue, revenue generation, uh, to also assist us in in producing a, a balanced budgets. So I'm very much uh, looking forward to um, to embarking on these uh, challenges over the over the coming months, and these uh, activities are very much in line with. Uh, continuing the need for uh, transparency, openness, and inclusiveness, and attracting uh, new industry members to join ITU, uh, as well as academia, and to make uh, ITU a more efficient organization that uh, uses its uh, finite resources to the greatest effect. And all of this, of course, was uh, I emphasized throughout my election campaign last year. This relates uh, very closely to the, the main focus for the United Nations uh, this year, the, the setting of the uh, post-2015 development agenda and uh, agreeing on sustainable development uh, goals. And we believe that uh, ICTs and especially uh, broadband uh, will be essential to uh, sustainable social and uh, economic development and that uh, this needs to be uh, reflected in the uh, outcome of the uh, post-2015 development agenda at the Heads of State uh, Summit in, in September. So I'd like to um, encourage you to, to help us to ensure that uh, ICTs are uh, reflected um, adequately in the, uh, the SDGs uh, that will be adopted there. This is also a very important for the global response to, to climate change, uh, where ICTs are essential both for uh, adaptation and uh, mitigation. And we've been doing a lot of work on that in the UN climate change conferences. ITU continues to address uh, smart uh, solutions that can increase energy efficiency, both in uh, production and in consumption, uh, which can uh, reduce costs, but also greatly reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And I'm very pleased to report that we intend to make ITU uh, a climate neutral organization during 2015. And this will reflect our commitment to, to deal with this very important issue. And achieving this uh, this year, I believe, will be very fitting in celebrating uh, ITU's 150th anniversary. Uh, it's intended to be a celebration not only of the founding of ITU, but a celebration of the incredible engineering feat, which is today's uh, telecommunications and ICT ecosystem. 
and uh, it's this ecosystem that underpins all societies and economies throughout the world. That uh, ecosystem is paving the way for a environmentally sustainable future. And uh, it's a great privilege to be working in the UN agency, which is at the, uh, the center of this ecosystem. So I'd uh, like to conclude by thanking you all very much uh, for your support. And uh, we look forward to working ever more closely with you uh, throughout this year. Thank you very much.